Hey church, this is my friend Scott, and he's gonna share his testimony with us. Good morning, uh, my name is Scott. Uh, I was raised in a Christian home, uh, accepted Jesus as my savior as a teenager, had a pretty strong relationship with him my whole life. Um, but like a lot of us, 2020 came and <laughs> wreaked a lot of havoc on a lot of our lives, you know? Um, a lot happened, but the biggest thing that year that uh, changed my life was I lost a really close friend. His name was Grant, and we lost him in a really unfortunate accident. Um, Grant was like a little brother to me, but you would think he was my older brother sometimes because he never uh, held back if he felt like he needed to call me out for not living up to my expectations or what God had for me. Um, and when we lost him, it didn't make a lot of sense. I had a lot of questions, but things didn't make sense anymore. I was trying to be strong for everyone around me, but inside my brain was turning. I never questioned God, but I did question the things I had built my faith on. And the more I questioned, the further I wandered, and the more I wandered, the more I slid into depression and darkness. I didn't tell anyone what I was going through, but I was really um, in a pretty dark place. On the other hand, my friend Ian here was also really close to Grant. Um, but through it all, Ian, he seemed to remain focused on Jesus in a way that I didn't. He had joy that I didn't have. Um, in the midst of his pain, he drew closer to God. And I did the opposite. Um, and the more I strayed from my faith foundation, the more Ian's joy actually made me angry. Um, I didn't want to be around him or see how God was, was uh, moving in his life. But then one day, I just realized how unhappy I was. And I thought about Ian, how happy he seemed to be. Uh, the biggest difference was that Ian had kept Jesus as the center of his life, while I, I hadn't. Upon this realization, um, I had to go back to the start, back to the feet of Jesus and rebuild my life on that foundation. I didn't have all my questions answered, I still don't, maybe I never will. Um, but from this point forward, I wanna continue forward on that journey with Jesus as my compass. Since I made that decision, God has met me where I'm at in ways I never, I never thought he could. He's become real to me in ways I never thought he, he could. Come to church every week, I feel the presence of God in ways I never thought I'd feel it. Um, I feel like I'm rediscovering my first love and the past doesn't matter anymore. Um, I'm thankful for my parents to be here this morning who have been a constant example through my whole life of what it means to follow Jesus whenever life gets hard. And I'm thankful for my friend Ian here, whose life has been a conviction when I needed it and an inspiration of what it means to walk in the joy of the Lord. So this morning here in front of all you guys, I'm excited to get baptized as a recommitment and express that I love Jesus and that he is my Lord and my Savior. Uh, uh. Scott, I'm so grateful um, for your boldness to share your story um, in front of a lot of strangers. And um, uh, I feel like you hang out with Reed long enough, you just start crying. Um, <laughs> I, I'm so grateful um, for a Heavenly Father who sees us in the midst of our struggles um, in the midst of our questions, in the midst of our pain, and loves us through it all. Um, there was one thing uh, about your story that I love so much is you said you don't have all the answers. And um, I know how hard that is, um, especially in the midst of, of grief and loss um, of our friend Grant. Um, but what you did, the way that you responded, you just said, God, I, I don't have all the answers. In fact, I have many doubts but you brought him to him and he met you with love. He met you with his presence. He met you with his grace. And that's the beauty about our heavenly father is that he will always meet us no matter where we're at. And church, I don't know if, if maybe you find yourself in Scott's story and if you find yourself in the midst of pain, in the midst of heartache, in the midst of grief, um, but you can bring your doubts and you can bring your questions to God. I, I hope and pray that this moment wouldn't be a spectacle, but it would be an invitation for you to go to your heavenly father and say, God, I don't have all the answers, but I know that you are the one that I need and that you are the one that I trust. And Scott, that's exactly what you did. And scripture says 
Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the same Jesus you put your faith in as a teenager, the same Jesus that walked with you in the midst of your darkest valley is the same Jesus that will walk with you from this day forward. So bro, I am, I am honored and it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father who loves you, the Son who died for you, and the Holy Spirit who lives within you.